the screaming, the cheering, the fist bumps. You can see the oh, yeah. stage now. Look at that enthusiasm. Hugs, no kittens. That's it. Amazing. Hey everyone, welcome to the Brookdale Esports. Uh, this is Rocket League today, and we have an exciting doubleheader for you guys. I hope everyone's having a great day today. I know I am. Uh, here I am with Christian, and I am Leo. Um, we will be your caster today. We will be facing off, Brookdale will be facing off for their 6 p.m. match against Ber Bergen CC Community College. Um, they did face off uh, Valorant yesterday. Valorant yesterday actually faced off against Bergen, so I guess it's a rematch in a different eSport. And then our 7 p.m. will be against uh, Lackawanna. 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 Interesting. That's an interesting name. Yeah. Very interesting name for a college. But I don't know where that is. Don't, I have no idea where that is either. You know, I sounds interesting, but, you know, I think these two games might be pretty good. Um, Rocket League came back um, last match uh, or last eSport of the week for Brookdale. Um, last time we saw them, they were in the quarterfinals of the playoffs and unfortunately lost to the one seed, which was very unfortunate. But they did give up a good fight. And um, I think uh, after uh, – the winter break and all this time to practice, I think they're, they're pretty they're pretty solidified uh, with everything they have. Yeah, a lot of practice, you know, building up that teamwork and all that trust. Um, you know, we have a great coach, Dark RL. Yeah. We're going to see how he does today. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen them uh, actually in the arena for so long, but they usually, they usually practice uh, online, but... I'm hoping to see, you know, some great things. Um, but for right now, um, we are just waiting for the games to start as we just talk about how, uh, how do you think uh, Brookdale will do against Bergen right now? I, I know Bergen's Valorant team is obviously it's a different eSport, but they were pretty tough on our Valorant team yesterday. So how do you think uh, the Rocket League will shape up? you think it will be the same? Uh, yeah, I think the Bergen's definitely going to put up a fight against, uh, you know, Brookdale here. It was tight uh, with Valorant. You know, we barely made it back. It, it looked like we were going to lose. But, you know, we came in out with uh, game three. We came out on top. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a really, really tough matchup. But I think, um, you know, I think shows just how good Bergen is with uh, most of the esports. And I think it'll be a good, good even match for us today. Um, I think uh, Brookdale will be ready for the challenge. Um, it seems like they're prepared. Every time I see uh, a Rocket League player from Brookdale, they're always playing. So they're always on the grind, playing, practicing. So um, that's a good thing, you know. Put hours in and you get in, you get better. Yeah, I mean, you have to have a passion for the sport. That's mm -hmm. really what it comes down to. Yeah. If, if you have no passion, uh, nothing will come from it. No. But – Good, good for us is uh, all our players love this game. So, and uh, we know our coach is very knowledgeable about the game, and he's had experience of winning and stuff. So, yeah, I believe we do have a new player on the roster. It's Explosion. We do. Um, he just joined, I believe, this semester. Uh, I don't know if we will be seeing from him today. Maybe he'll get subbed in. But I do believe um, he it, well he is part of the roster right now, and he is uh, sitting in. And um. Uh, well, hopefully we'll see something pretty great from him. Um, a great player. Uh, well, as he looks from the previews we saw, he looks like a pretty good player. But, um, yeah, uh, today, uh, our Brookdale matches will be best of fives. Um, first to three, um, if it's tied 2-2, two -two, you know, go to game five. We love game fives around here, so love, love intense matchups through our opening week of esports for brookdale i think almost all of them have been to like last map so yeah and hopefully we see some exciting overtimes you know it's really exciting when you don't know who's going to score first it's a game of possession you know it's a game of who has the most boost who's in the right spots who's in the right positions you know your team they all need to be spaced out 
um, you know, there can't be a lot of mistakes. Yeah, I mean, Rocket League is literally just one of the most intense games for esports. I mean, um, from what I watched last semester, it was like the most tiny mistakes conceded a goal or we end up scoring from a goal because the other team made a mistake. It's very, very precise on like what you do and uh, the rotations. So a lot of rotations, like uh, two players are way ahead of you. You should play back. It's just a lot of, a lot of protection, a lot of, a lot of cycling. But um, right now yeah, we are in the lobby, so we will be starting to match up pretty soon. Um, Looks like we're on Manfield. <laughs> Manfield, interesting. Is there any difference for this certain uh, field, if you know? Mm, not really, nope. It's uh, just the appearance, but uh, default size. Okay. Okay. Um, right now we're just uh, just just waiting on uh, just the teams to join up on their teams, but we'll be uh, we'll be heading into them or we'll be starting to match pretty shortly. But uh, should be a fun one. Should be a fun one. Rocket League's always a fun esports to wa esport to watch. You know, um, from the moments it's one moment of the year multiple times in some of the esports awards and stuff like that. So it's. Uh, Pretty pretty entertaining Rocket League game or pretty entertaining game to watch, if I say so myself. Yep, I definitely agree. It's you know one of those games where if you're into it, you know it's just you're gonna have a great time watching it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's genuinely, fun to play and it's fun. To yeah, watch. it's fun to play. I mean, I'm not the best player at it, but I know you're pretty great player at it I'm you know I used to play a little bit like in the beginning uh, and then sometimes usually when I'm bored I'll hop on Rocket League because you know it's it's fun you know it's a uh, it's a good there's so many game modes too. there's like a basketball one I think they have the hockey one as well there's like there's a decent amount there's a lot to do in Rocket League yeah there's a lot uh, they had the extra game mode drop shot um, there's controversy though because it was removed Really? A lot of people enjoyed that, myself included, and they took it out of every playlist. Mm -hmm. so we're going to actually uh, be back in two minutes. Yep. Um, we'll be right back. Games will be starting soon. See you then.
All right, we are back, and we've just started the first match. Yep, here we go with Brookdale, uh, blue team, while the, or no, we are. We are orange. We are orange, sorry. Uh, and then uh, Bergen is also, is blue currently. But a nice opening start to uh, Brookdale with a goal. one nothing already, seven seconds in. Pretty good start to the season, honestly. Um, Hoping it's, a, hoping it's a blowout for Brookdale, but um, seems that the training has uh, has improved and paid off for Brookdale. Is this another goal? Oh, just, just off the top of the crossbar into back into the midfield. So as you can see here, um, oh, Brookdale, Milo, just perfect save. Thought that was actually gonna end up going through, but ended up getting saved. Now Brookdale working it back into the midfield, shooting, taking a shot, and just missed with Bergen saving the with a Bergen player saving the day and keeping it one nothing. Brookdale right now currently with the ball in their half. Now transferring the ball right back into their half. What was that? It, um, he just went through the ball. Yep, back <laughs> 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 they just completely messed up in the back. That's what we were saying before. Is Shout out to Pingu. What was that? I don't know. I that was a ghost hit. <laughs> ghost goat. Wait. This is a haunted server. Yeah. It's over. Wait. I think they're <laughs> down a player right now. I don't know what's going on. Um, it's Oh. Oh, I guess. No. I guess currently they're doing the game 2v3. So I'm, it might be the reason why we're up 2-0. <laughs> um, pretty unfortunate for Bergen. Um, but good for us, I guess. What a great nice save. save. <laughs> great save by Brookdale. Um, ends up keeping the ball right into their half. Nice shot. Nice goal. 3 nothing. Brookdale. Shout out to Milo with a goal. I believe everyone has gotten a goal so far. Yeah, Yeet, Milo, and Pingle all have a goal currently. So it seems like we're getting a variety of goals for everyone, which is just perfect. Um, but yeah, it's a great start. Obviously, two v three, a little bit, a little bit rough, but you know, it is what it is. We do got to play the game for what it is. Oop. Milo does, or not Milo. Um, we do lose a player for Brookdale for a couple seconds, but he respawns right back. Believes that Bergen, Bergen, I think, is just trying to keep the ball into like their own half, trying some hail mary plays. But right now, they don't really have anyone back, so it's just a free open net. Milo up, forcing the issue here. Yeats up for this, misses Pingo from behind. Milo, Ooh, nice Mi back. Milo. Brookdale does have to go back for that ball. Even though it's a 2v3, anything is a threat. Pingo's Any up. Ball back into Bergen's half. Basically just possession wise, it's just been ball Brookdale. Um, Good centered ball, Yeet goal, does Yeet. Get it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I mean, Yeet with two goals right now. Everyone else has one, but it's Brookdale domination currently. Um, hopefully next match we do get to see the 3v3, but it seems like we're going to go up one nothing into the series. Even with this amount of time left, it just seems like Bergen is playing a Hail Mary type of game. Where it's just like we basically have to pray for one of our shots to bounce in, but Yeet is up here. Can he make the flip reset work? Yes, he can, but it is off target. Yeah. Good centered ball for a bit, but oh, okay. Milo just tucks it right back in. It seems like one of the Bergen players, Bergen, yeah, one of the Bergen players uh, just mishandled it, and then Milo was there to put it right back in the net. It was the second mistake actually by Bergen. Even with a couple, even with one less player, I feel like those mistakes shouldn't happen as a, as a team. But you know, I guess it's just an off match. For yeah, them. we'll have to see how this affects their morale going forward. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> now the goal—that's a hat trick by Milo. That's th that's three. I thought Yeet was going to be the first one to get the hat trick, but it seems like Milo is just shooting green light. I do like the effects at the end of those goals. I do. I'm a big fan of those. Um, there's one effect that I really do enjoy. Um, that uh, isn't it like it turns the whole entire map? I think black and white, or it's like it just changes the color of the entire like screen and stuff. That's probably my favorite effect. 
when scored a goal. Yep, and you can have it painted too. You can. That's yep. crazy. That's honestly, uh, Rocket League's doing Rocket League and Fortnite. They're like, they're both doing the uh, great, con uh, doing great stuff with their games, content-wise. But uh, here we go with Brookdale up six nothing with one minute forty left. Doesn't seem like Bergen is just trying anything. They're just kind of bouncing the ball around. Brookdale's padding stats, you know. Gonna look good at the end of the season. Get that MVP. <laughs> Eat with the demo. You would just uh just a pretty 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 decent match. Um for Brookdale possession wise as well. I feel like we've had a pretty decent amount of possession in their half. Um and capitalize on mistakes, which is which is probably the best thing to do in in Rocket League is obviously capitalize on those mistakes. Um, two of the goals were just basically fluffs from Bergen and end up being two goals for uh, Brookdale. Yeah, you could see all our players making themselves useful, passing and then going for the bump afterwards. Yeah. Very inf very very fluid in the way they play. Right now, I guess they're just <laughs> right now they're just tapping the ball around. Uh, it seems like it seems like both teams know that it's just basically uh, it's just waiting for the counter to come down. Thirty seconds do remain for the first map. As we see, they're just freestyling here. Yeah, seems like Bergen is part of the game as well. We're just kind of playing around with the ball, juggling it. You know, seems like a charity match type of thing. You know, <laughs> but uh, six nothing. Time goes all the way down to zero. We have Brookdale with six, Bergen with nothing. It was zero for the first map. Oh, ball still up. Ball is still up. Could be seven. Oh, wait. All right, uh. now it's six. Okay. <laughs> I thought I thought Milo was gonna take it the entire way, but you know, GG to Bergen for for map one. But um. I mean, uh, I know that map was two v three, but um, what do you think of Brookdale? How do you how do you th how do you think yeah? How do you think of Brookdale? How do you think they did? I think they look really solid today. You know, I think they have what it takes to take the whole thing um, against both <laughs> colleges today. Yeah, I mean, I think possession wise, they they controlled it, um, capitalizing on the mistakes. You know, I mean, even though if it's two v three, you should capitalize on those mistakes. It was two mess ups. Second goal, and I believe the fifth or sixth goal was a mess up. They were just one, just like one of the players, just straight up for the second goal, just straight up completely missed the ball, and it just kind of rolled. And one of our players tapped it, and I believe it was Milo. But you know, a lot of mistakes capitalized on, and that's what you have to do with Rocket League. Is a lot of good teams are not going to make mistakes, but when they do, got to capitalize on those. That's exactly right. You know, the aggression, the boost management. Stealing boosts, getting those rams and bumps, the demos, just huge. Yeah, I mean, I think they had more demos than us. Um, I could be wrong. It, they did. It seemed to explode us a lot, but I feel like we were at the point where it was like it was five nothing, and they were just kind of playing around. <laughs> and then um, we are getting ready for the next match. We are hopefully, hopefully it is. Oh, it is only. It is the second match of the series. It's still two v three. It seems like Bergen's one of the Bergen's players is uh, having a little technical difficulties on their end. But right now, I guess we're just going to play what we have. So three v two. As we see, uh, nice centered ball right there. We have Pingu. Re oh, centers it as well. Unfortunately, no one there to capitalize on there. Milo with the back pass. Yeet chasing the ball. It's very, uh, you know, not, they didn't get scored on the first seven seconds, so that's, oh, it might actually. Oh, well, you jinxed it. As I, as Come I, on. yeah, you know, Pingu scores, I mean. Caster curse. Caster curse uh, for Bergen. My fault, Bergen, <laughs> you know. I gave you guys better than seven seconds, but, you know. Is it 33 seconds or no? 23? I'm terrible at math right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, first, yeah, 33 seconds. Um, not bad. Oh. Seems like uh, he's trying to bait it. You yeah, see he's, it trying to, he's trying to do a little bait. Um, we do get exploded. One of our players does get exploded. It does become yeet. But uh, yeah, it just seems like uh, same play from Bergen. Is uh, just 
Toss a Hail Mary, basically. You could say Yeet got yeeted. You can't say that. <laughs> yeah. He, he got completely wrecked. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what's going on right now. I think they're just kind of... Just kind of... Seems like Bergen... All right. Pingu just puts the ball right back into the net. Seems like uh, Bergen kind of knows that you're just going to have to chalk up the game for a bit. Or chalk up the game since uh, they're down two players. I did like their aggressive approach uh, map one where they uh, basically lobbed it up and were like, all right, let's pray it goes into that. But I guess they strayed away from that. And now they're just kind of they're chilling. Good centered ball there, but unfortunately no one there to pick it up. We did just lose, I think, Milo or Yeet. Oh, Yeet, actually. Yeet's been getting exploded a lot this series. I think it's like his fourth time getting exploded. I think they're just targeting him at this point. It's just got a little bit of a bullying thing. Um, Yeet going up for the ball. Does make does make a connection. Nice shot on goal by Milo and his 3 nothing Brookdale. Yeah, so in these 2v3 situations, you really need to be playing at your peak in order to capitalize. Uh, unfortunately for Bergen, doesn't look like that's the case. Today. Yeah, it seems like uh, they kind of. I think they kind of lost a little bit of composure because they lost a player. Might be just technical issues on their end, unfortunately. Um, but the match does have to be played today, so you gotta play with what you got. So um, currently we have Milo taking a shot at the net. Fortunately, hits the right side. Completely whiffs on it. <laughs> um, Yep, Milo off the crossbar there, almost oh, an own goal. Yeah, almost an own goal. Milo taking all these shots, and it and oh, oh uh, no, an open net, and he completely whiffs it. He was taking his time. Yeah, with he that was one. almost to punish it. them. Yeah, and he got punished instead. Yeah, just completely whiffed on it. <laughs> we do hear uh, the Rocket League players talking out a little bit. Um, they're just kind of having their own fun with this. It is a. Honestly, it just feels like a little bit of an exhibition match at this point. But Pingu right now taking the ball towards midfield. Can he take it all the way he can? That's a hat trick for Pingu. He's on fire. Um, we do have double hat tricks from... Well, we have the hat trick from last game and the hat trick from this game. So two hat tricks in the series. Nice. All right. Now we start back. We have a 220 left on the, on the counter. Um... 4 nothing Brookdale. Basically, just got to wait for the counter to end at this point. Um, hopefully, Bergen's player can come back from map three. Maybe get some little little, little fun in there. But um, Yeah, it does look like these two Bergen players are more defensive. So, maybe their third was the uh, offensive forward. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like, um, you know, a 2-1. Two, two in the back and one up front. But... Brookdale seems. To, Brookdale, from what I've watched, is they play a little bit more offensive. They have two up front, and then one in the back, and they usually just rotate the one in the back, just in a constant rotation. So everyone plays defense, but also offense, you know. Right, and that's what you want to have. You always want to have one guy back and someone there to pass and someone there to be for the pass. Yep. Great save by Milo. That could have been the chance for Bergen to actually grab one in this series so far, but fortunately, no dice. <laughs> Now we're just kind of tossing around in the midfield. Yeet with the ball, trying to take it all the way. Can they it be finished? They do force it in. Yep. Nice 50-50 right over him. Yep. Pingu has four goals right now. I think he's got to combine six goals in the series, six or five, one of those two. But great, great games by uh, Brookdale. Seems like the practice is working out. Um, Seems like uh, Brookdale likes to work it through the midfield. Sometimes work it around um, the corners and just kind of toss it up in there. Hopefully, we have two people. We have always we usually have two people there to wait to finish uh, the chance off. Left on the clock. One minute left here. I don't think uh, Bergen has actually been on the scoreboard yet. These two matches. They have not. I don't think they have. Uh, I think it's yeah. Brookdale. Brookdale has kind of clean sweep them. Um, Obviously, certain circumstances, but usually you want to get like a like a consolation goal or something, you know. Usually, when you're getting blown out, you want to get like that one goal to you be like, you know, we got something. We're leaving with something. Thirty seconds left. Centered ball. 
Pingu, oh, Pingu shoots, but he could have got five right there, but unfortunately he could not finish the chance. Milo whiffing on that, unfortunately, but there we go with Pingu right back in there. Milo, can you finish it this time? Unfortunately, cannot. Ten seconds left here. And the clock counts down to zero. We have a Brookdale five to nothing for map two. Will they keep it up, though? Will, yeah, will they keep it up? They're keeping it up, but uh, the wrong way. Wait, what? Kim Hold Bergen get one. Kim Bergen get one. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> Still not done yet. This is like a 30-second overtime. Yeah, wait. Oh, they kept it up. No. Wait. No. no! <laughs> Could have been 6 nothing. unfortunately. Uh, It only is 5, but Brookdale takes game 2 in the 2-0 series lead for the first match of the day. You can actually see Pingo had uh, nine shots there leading the offensive with Brookdale. Yeah, uh, Pingo's, ki Pingo's kind of on it this series. Um, he's got four goals in the second match, and I believe he has two in the first. He's kind of going crazy. He's, kinda, he's, he's probably the star player right now. Um, How do you think uh, Brookdale did that second match? Yeah, I think they did just as good as the first, if not better. Um, they've been able to hold their own, even though it's a 3v2. And uh, I think they're going to be able to take the series. Yeah. I mean, uh, hopefully we get a Bergen player to join in and we'll get the 3v3. But uh, if it's a 2v3, it seems like it's going to go Brookdale's way. This might be a quick 3-0. You know, uh, Brock League matches do go pretty quickly. Um, good thing we have one more match this game uh, after this against Lackawanna. But um, right now, uh, we just – Hopefully, we're waiting on Bergen to get that third play. Yeah, as we wait for the next match. Yeah. What do you uh, find to be your favorite game mode in Rocket League? <sighs> the hockey one. Um, as you can see, I'm not too versed in Rocket League, but I do. I have played it for a decent amount of hours, um, and I've watched some friends play it. But um, the hockey one was pretty fun, um, and the basketball. Um, but um, uh. For ro for hockey, uh, I think it's just like I think it was just because it was like a different puck, but also just the surface was all ice, so it was like the cars would be more slippery and stuff. So yeah, yeah, it was a pretty pretty fun game mode. But game here we are back. with yep, here we are with game three, and we already scored. <laughs> Brooke, they already scored. We are setting records right now. Seven seconds, thirty-three seconds. This is uh, nineteen seconds. Nineteen today. seconds. So we are. We are setting records right now. It's one nothing. Brookdale. Um, oh, it is actually. Oh, wait. No, it's 3v3. We actually have the Bergen player here. And it's, nice. <laughs> it's another goal. <laughs> Yeet scores again. And it's 2 nothing. Maybe they should have just kept with the two players because, I don't know, it's not looking good Ooh. for three. <laughs> it's just not. <laughs> yep, that double kickoff did not work in their favor oh, there. Pops it up just for our team to score. Maybe we should have just. Yeah, I mean. Maybe we're just that good. Is it another one? Jesus. <laughs> oh, my gosh. These kickoff goals. It's 3 nothing. I mean, Bergen, you could try. You could come back. Like, there's – you could pull the impossible. Like, it feels like they're just, like, not trying. Like, we got to – like, expired Cheeto needs to step it up, buddy. Like, <laughs> he's, he's looking expired. He's looking expired. Like, oh, there we go. Connection has been made. Wait. The ball's in our half now. Okay. We do have some competition. It is three nothing, but anything could happen, you know. I've seen crazier things in esports and sports, so anything could happen. As we see, we Brookdale has the ball in their half. Doesn't really center it too well. Shot on goal does count, um, but right now, I think we're just kind of keeping it in the corner right now, fighting for uh, possession. As you can see, Milo bumps it up. Hopefully to center it for Pingu, but Pingu flies right back just to, just for some defensive matters. You actually see Bergen all grouped up at times. Their uh, positioning isn't the best. Yeah, it's very uh, it's, it's too jumbled, too too much like too too together. It's just we need we need you need uh, you need space, you know. I know Rocket League is called car soccer, but like in soccer you need space. You need you need a little bit of wide area to play with and right now 
Bergen is just not uh, not doing too well with that. Right, because how are you going to know who's going to hit with ball? Exactly. I think that's what helps with Brookdale is we know what's who's going to do what. Like, as you can see, look at the rotations between each player, calling out which is what, like who's going to hit what, what placement, where are they going to be at. Like, great save by... Uh, I think that's Pingu there. By Pingu. Pingu might be the MVP of the series. Some great saves, some good goals, hat trick, four goals, you know. Pretty great all around. And now, uh, this is probably the most pressure Brookdale has seen this series. We have uh, the ball in our own half for quite a while, actually. So, seems like Bergen's getting some f possession, finally. Um, seems like nothing's coming of it. No centering the ball. It's kind of going back and forth between the corners. Pingu is towards the goal, unfortunately. Oh. And a whiff. Complete whiff. Milo clears it, but only goes so far. Yeet, Yeet brings it back into Bergen's half. Ooh. Milo ooh, just misses the goal. Pingu up for this. Forces it. In the corner. Dead ball. Dead ball. Fortunately, no, it goes nowhere. We have Yeet and Milo in the back. Hopefully... Milo basically just sticking to that wall. Hopefully, and completely clears it out of our half. Um, Pinku again exploded. Um, it's, I think uh, Pingu has been exploded like 18 times so far this series. It's it's been pretty rough for him. Pretty pretty rough, unfortunately. Yeet has been exploded. They've been they. I'll give it to Bergen. They they've been exploding us pretty well. Other than that, uh, that's really all I can give him. <laughs> We do have a minute 30 left. Uh, three nothing Brookdale. Three goals right off the rip. I think there was three goals in a minute, so or minute 20, if you want to be specific. Um, but nice save by Pingu. Milo with the ball at the right side, hopefully to center it. Nice center. Almost the double tap to Yeet. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeet with a hat trick actually. That's Yeet's third goal of the game. Um, yeah, Yeet showing up, you know, putting the ball in that Pingu with a uh, one assist, three saves. I think uh, overall through the series, I think Pingu might be the best player, but uh, you know, Yeet's, Yeet's, Yeet's giving him a run for his money, for his money for with this uh, hat trick. So, we do have one minute remaining with Brookdale up four nothing, best of five against Bergen Community College. Collectively, we have nine saves here. Collectively? Man, that's great. Yep. Really brick wall in front, in front of us. So can't score on us. What Yeet. I notice is uh, most of the goals have actually come from um, mistakes again. So, Right. Capitalizing on those mistakes, I think that was basically... Uh, that might have been just the main thing to... Uh, oh! Pingo scores right there. Makes it 5 nothing, Brookdale. Very sharp angle to hit here, too. Yeah. He didn't have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, took took one of the corners and scores. Uh, everyone with uh, a goal right now with Brookdale. That was the last player that didn't have a goal. But, you know, he was uh, – Pingu was basically saving. He was he was on his defensive uh, mindset for this game. So, fortunately, we did lose Pingu again to an explosion. I need to see a demo counter here. Yeah, it, it, it's, 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 I think Bergen's leading it pretty well. I think that's the one thing they won, so congrats to them. Um, good job on exploding. Wait, will they, I think they just want to end it. I don't even think they want to balance it. Oh, no, Milo now. Everyone oh. is just getting exploded. Oh, oh, unfortunately. GG's. But, yep. GG. Um, Brookdale takes the series 3 nothing with a 5 nothing win in game three. So, so, so um, since uh, we actually had three players versus three players that match, how do you uh, how do you think Brookdale did? I I still think we did amazing. Like I didn't see a lot of mistakes from our team, even against the three people. Like, yeah, it was yeah, it was a pretty pretty blatant uh, blowout or a clear blowout. Um, yeah, first three goals were like in the first minute ten. So um, I was surprised when they had three players. Uh, 
and uh, there was like two goals already on the board. I was like, this is already, it's like, this is not 2v3. It's still, it's, it's 3v3 now. But uh, I guess, I guess they just capitalized on those mistakes uh, as they did the whole entire series. Like they just capitalized on every single mistake and scored. And that's why they, I don't think, uh, I don't think uh, Brookdale conceded once that entire series. No. And you see, they got demoed so many times, yet they were able to keep their positions, able to respawn and just hold their own. Regardless. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, Bergen basically just went in there and was like, all right, let's just demo and not score. So, all right. I mean, they did win that battle, but uh, <laughs> they did not win the entire series with that. You can't win with demos. You can only win with goals. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it seems like uh, Brookdale's in pretty good shape. one uh, one or 1-0 for the, for the season currently. We do have another map or match coming up, Brookdale versus Lackawanna. 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 Thank you. So right. stay tuned for that. That should be fun. Um, but we will see you in a little bit. Yep. Seven by seven. We'll see you back at seven. Yeah, we'll be back at seven. Um, might be a little late, but we'll see you then.
Welcome back, and now we're about ready to get started with Series 2 against Lackawanna. I've heard they're back-to-back -back champs. Yep. What back do you think about that? Back-to-back -back champs, that's very interesting. I mean, you know, it's hard to win one championship, but going back-to-back, -back, that's twice the, twice the, twice the difficulty. So uh, I think it be, will be a pretty good match. Uh, I don't know if they have the same players from uh, their championship runs, but if they do, I think it'll be a pretty, pretty competitive match compared to the first one we saw which was uh, an easy 3-0 but um what are your thoughts on uh on uh, the matchup today you know i i think there might be some rumors of a uh, smack talk actually between the mm. two teams are they saying that uh you know back to back champs but what about now you know just yeah i mean what's going to happen today yeah history is about to be rewritten exactly you like know. prove it if you're gonna be, if you're back to back champs, show us. Yeah, show us. Where's the triple title? Yeah, come on. Where's the three? You have to go back to back to back to be something. Like back to back, sure, but like three, Pete. Then I'll stop talking. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> it's the trilogy. It is the trilogy. You need the trilogy. It is trilogy. Um, I do believe we're going probably with the same lineup of Yeet, Milo, and Pingu because it did seem to work that well. Um, capitalized on all the mistakes, or capitalized on all the mistakes there was in the ser first series. Um, we're actually going to be back in a couple minutes here, and then the match is going to begin. Yep. So we'll be right back. So, see you then. Game one between Brookdale and Lackawanna. We do have the same lineups for uh, Brookdale. They are in the blue this time instead of the orange. Oh, does seem Laca yep, Lackawanna does score off the rip. Seems like Brookdale uh, made a mistake there. Miss, miss, miss pass there, unfortunately, and which leads to an open goal for Lackawanna. Hopefully, it can bounce back and score. But maybe it's just those, you know, first first game jitters, you know. But should be fine. Pingu takes it up uh, field. Yeet trying to contest it, but unfortunately does not. 
Now we're just working it back into the midfield. CJ, oh, what a goal. Beautiful. Milo cutting it around in the air. Perfect, perfect play by Milo right there. Tied 1-1 right now as we go head into the rest of the four minutes 30. Yeet gets exploded. Seems like our players really do like getting exploded. Wakawana applying the pressure right now. Keeping it in our half, basically taking shots, trying to create chances. Brooke, they're doing their best to get it out. There is one back for Lackawanna, so that's good for them. Ooh, ooh, mistake in the back there. Will it be a goal? Unfortunately, it's not. Hits the post. Completely bounces right back into our half. Pingu, yeet with a beautiful save. Milo takes it out, clears the ball. Not for long though. Akawana keeping it in our half, really showing why they are back-to-back -back champs with this possession. Pingo up to Yeet. Back to Pingo. Nice play there. Unfortunately, couldn't get the full connection with Pingu. Yeet shoots and just gets saved by Lakawana's player. Ball seems to be bouncing everywhere. Yeah, very interesting. Brookdale only doesn't have a player back yet. Well, Yeet does get in position, so does Milo. Milo is now Ooh. forward. He's on a breakaway. 3v1. And it's shot. Three. Easy goal. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Honestly, off the break. Good positioning by Milo. Um, sends Brookdale into a 2-1 lead against the back-to-back -back champs. Pingu destroyed. Seems like a uh, player's getting destroyed a lot. Yeet with a big clear here, but just to bring it back to them. Cleared ball right now in our own half. Seems like, oh, this might be another breakaway. Unf unfortunately, Lakawana's player does get back in time just to intercept that. The downside of those big clears is you don't have time. You just give the ball away in possession. Yep. Milo in the net, ready for any shot that's coming through. Pingu and Yi basically trying their best. Milo sends it through to the midfield. Right back to Milo. Hopefully Yi can tap it in there. Unfortunately, he cannot. Milo back to Pingu. Lakawana really getting the possession here, but unfortunately, not really doing much with it. Or fortunately for Brookdale. As I say oh. that, we do concede. Unfortunate. It was a couple, couple, couple miss, a uh, couple missed deflections or a couple missed saves, but uh, Lakawana ties it right back up 2-2. Two, two. Another demo here. I believe that was on Yeet. Fortunately, ah, uh, and Lakawana scores again in the span of 10 seconds. They got two goals. You can see that there might be a little bit of tilt here yeah. starting to begin. Fortunately, being such a good team like that, you can just strike at any moment and score those two goals. Milo with the ball here, hopefully trying to work another breakaway. There is another breakaway going on. Fortunately, Brookdale doesn't get the best of that and have to return back to their side of the field to reclaim possession. Defense looks to be kind of in shambles here, but they managed to get it out. Mm -hmm. Brookdale does go through with a with a clear, pretty good clear. Fortunately, there's not really much to follow it up for. It's very chase the ball type of thing. Uh, and Brookdale hasn't really had a good. Uh, One minute remaining here. Eat with epic save. Ball goes right across the right across the net. No Lackawanna players there to capitalize on that chance. But 
Ooh, fortunately, as I say that, hits off the post right into the net for Lackawanna. It's 4-2. Seems like they're going to take the first game of the series. Um, Brookdale, you know, now they're making mistakes, uh, as Bergen did in the first series. Yeah, Iowaka seems to be popping off uh, there for Lackawanna. He has two goals, I believe, at least. As you saw there, Brookdale tried to make a, an interesting right off the rip play uh, with uh, trying to get a goal right in the first second of the ball being played in, but unfortunately they could not put the ball in the net and it was getting it got epic saved. So they do need to be very aggressive here with only 13 seconds left. Yeah. Can they force the issue? Fortunately, they cannot. They did try to make a play there, but. It you know. goes down. Yep, goes down. Brookdale does go down 1-0 in the series against the back-to-back uh, -back champs. Um, so what do you think uh, Brookdale did? I mean, they looked, they had 2-1 lead, and then they kind of just fell off from there. What, what, what do you think happened? I think they kept getting, you know, trapped in their own defense, and they kept getting demoed. Uh, Lackawanna just looked very good offensively, a lot better than the previous series we've watched. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, Bergen seemed like they didn't know how to play, and that now Lackawanna is actually just uh, rotating and doing everything basically perfect to a point. Besides those two breakaway goals, it seems like uh, that's something to capitalize on where uh, uh, Lackawanna, when they uh, have all the men forward and one clear, usually you can capitalize on that. But other than that, they uh, Brookdale didn't really have too much possession. No. It seemed like a hard uphill battle that they just weren't able to win yeah a little tough but um hopefully brookdale comes back um you know learns from those mistakes because uh, a couple of those conceded goals were due to certain mistakes but i think uh if they clean those up it'll be a could even the series up pretty well so yeah um but uh for lackawanna um we are heading back into game two here We start off already with a demolition. Pingu trying to save the ball. He does just right, just perfect enough just to get it past uh, the net. Yi is the only one back currently. Saves the ball from Lackawanna, oh. but goes into the net. Not enough Brookdale players back. I think that was a bump on Pingu here out of the net. Yeah. Not the, not the start Brookdale would want, but, you know, it is the... It is the defending champs, and they are uh, not that they are not defending champs for no reason. So, Yeet saves it. Pingu could make a play here. Sides to go back. Fortunately, just saw two players actually take out. I think it was Milo in midair. So. Yeah, I, I would love to see uh, Brookdale, you know, step up the aggression here. I think they're being a little too passive. Yeah, not playing a little scared, unfortunately. Um, then they need to be like full, and you need to be all in their face with the, in this type of games uh, with people that are a little bit with a championship stature. You need to you need to bring it to them. Right, I'm not seeing 100% confidence from them right now. Yeah. Not like last game um, or series. Right now it's one nothing. Uh, Lackawanna brings up the ball. It seems like Lackawanna just has a ton of possession every time we see them. Um, fortunately, Brookdale is trying their best, but Ooh. two nothing for Lackawanna. Got to give credit where it's due. That is a very hard shot to save. Yeah. Nice aerial there, upside down. Fortunately, uh, Brookdale, yeah. Brookdale just seems a little uh, out of it with uh, these two goals. Hopefully uh, they can bring one back and that could cause a boost in momentum. See Milo in, I uh, believe it is Pingo, both using Octanes, or Yeet rather. Fortunately, Brookdale does go down three nothing. Um, doesn't look good from here. Milo, with the bounce, uh, just gives it right back out. And just a lot of just a lot of mistakes again from Brookdale. It seems like uh, just like not 
playing how they usually play. Yeah, we need the tides to shift in our favor here, or else it's going to be bad. Eat saves it, but again, there's a lock of water there to just bring the rebound back, and then they just recycle it back into the midfield and back to them. Brookdale really needs something. They need just anything just for to go into the ball into their half. It seems like they're just getting, they're just not playing with anything right now. I do like the slow control play I am seeing from Milo. And he gets demoed there. Fortunately, but Yi is there to clear the ball. Seems like every time uh, one of the Brookdale players has the ball, there's always three Lackawanna players around them and just to grab the possession right back, which honestly seems to work out. I'm just ready to demo them. Yep. Four three Another becomes goal. four nothing. Lackawanna. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Brookdale's kind of just sitting there kind of. It's the curse of Lackawanna. Yeah. It shows how good they are. I mean, three two-time champs. You got to be that for a reason, so. Right. Yeet wins the kickoff here. This could be big for us. Uh, currently back into the Brookdale's half. I mean, it just seems like there's no aggression at all. Yeet up in the air here. Yep. Couldn't get it around them. Pingu's up. Pingu up. Two shots on goal. That's a little encouraging. Um, fortunately, they bring it right back. Pingu. Here comes Yeet. Yeet has some space to play with. Fortunately, again, as, I, as we say. Lackawanna, every time Brookdale has the ball, it's like three players just crowd that player, and they just they get retained possession right back, which... Honestly, it's a great way to play. Uh, they're just hitting all their aerials as well. Milo with a save to make it, to keep it for nothing at least. There Looks is like, a breakaway. Yep. First goal here for Brookdale. Yep. That was time. Consolation goal. Um, good one. Good goal to get on the board, you know, not get blown out. So, not bad. Uh, Hopefully, you know, Brookdale learns a little bit from that uh, type of um, type of play where they, on the, again, on the breakaway. Down to 45 here. Pinku saves it. Myla clears it. Eden Fortry is not there to secure. Thirty seconds. If we won't have a chance to win, I think we're gonna need two kickoff goals at least. Yeah. Unfortunately, ping, uh, we do lose Milo. At this point, it's just a dribbling match. <laughs> um, it seems like Lackawanna is kind of just dribbling for fun. Yep. Running down the clock. Yep. Fortunately, we do not get that last second goal right there for two two one. Oh. Um, yeah, and it just just misses off the net. Lackawanna is trying for a fifth goal. And it is a fifth goal. 5-1 Lackawanna. They dribble it all the way through. Rough game for Brookdale. Honestly. Yep. Uh, 5-1 Lackawanna. I mean... National champs for a reason, back to back for a reason. Uh, unfortunately, Brookdale just, they, don't, they just seem so out of it. Um, I mean, they have to win this next map or the series is done or like just like that. So uh, what do you think they should do to fix it? I think we need to be very offensive, like more demos, more possession plays and just better mechanics overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're heading back in here now. Right back into the matchup. Hopefully, Brookdale just kind of throws some more offensive, you know, go all out just for the last map. And I believe they just got scored on in the first two seconds. That is a new record. Uh, yeah, I thought we were uh, the ones to score first. Yeah, we just completely missed. And then Lackawanna just puts it right back in the net. 
seems like there's a decent amount of stuff to uh, work on for uh, to get to this Lackawanna level. Um, just one nail, though. You know, we could uh, end up tying this. You know, hopefully we go in it for that. Doesn't fully tilt them. Good save right there by Pingu. Lackawanna does not want to be stopped. They do want to complete the trilogy. Yep. They just seem pretty dead set on uh, securing another title. Fortunately, Milo does go to a demolition, and that it's just an unfortunate own goal there yeah, secures another goal for Lackawanna. Two nothing, Lackawanna. Um, at this point, basically just playing for. Uh, for statistics, <laughs> double explo uh, double explosion by Lackawanna. Uh, we do have uh, with that we do have uh, Pingu and Milo back, Milo Milo, back uh, to defend. Yeet trying to make a play here. Unfortunately, it does not work. Again, it just seems like Lackawanna has always three players there to grab the possession, and it just seems like Brookdale is playing one, just trying to one versus everyone, and it's not working out too well. Pingu does clear, it, uh, does try to clear it out into the midfield. Yeet with a pass, a centered, tries to put it in his, own, try to put it in his own, but. Unfortunately, no dice for that. Bingo with the clear here. Looks like Milo will be following up. Back to Yeet. Maybe Ram play? No. Unfortunately not. Again, there's always a Lackawanna player just there. Just can't be stopped at this point. It's like a brick wall. Exactly. They just don't run out of energy. It's like it seems like they uh they always have a boost and they're just there just to just to protect their own net. So lots to lots to learn from the, from this game from uh, Brookdale's perspective. Someone does need to be challenging here. Yes. They're just sitting ducks. Just, there's just no uh, aggressiveness right now. It's a pretty standstill game right now. Do nothing. Uh, great save right there by Yeet. You see Lackawanna putting on so much pressure that Brookdale has just lost composure. Yep. Brookdale does get a goal back with 2.15 left. So there is a chance. There is hope. There's glimmer of hope for Brookdale to bring this back and tie it and maybe take the game. Maybe extend the series to game four. But you actually Yeet. see uh, Yeet smiling there as he gets down. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like a common thing for us right now. We've been getting demoed a lot this game. He's just grown used to it. Yeah. In two minutes left here, will they be able to tie it up? It is possible, but they do need to get the ball out of the out of their half. Unfortunately, Lakanawa just just completely keep peppering their uh, net, keeping the ball in their own half. You shouldn't have said anything. I know. Now cursed. You cursed it. I keep cursing them. It's my fault. I will take responsibility for this loss. It's not on them. Make sure you have in the standings. Not, just don't get Brookdale the loss. Just ha add me to the standings to put Leo one loss. Unfortunately, Lakanawa gets another goal. This is all my fault. My fault. Yep. yep. You'll be taking the L today. I will be taking. Yeah. Took, took the L. This is my fault. Don't put it on the players. This is on me. Caster's curse, you know. But, um, yeah, 4-1, Lakanawa, you know. It was 2-1, but I think uh, they just kind of decided to start trying again. <laughs> now they have a 5-1 lead. Um, again, a lot to learn, you know. These are the type of games to humble you. So, it's a... Uh, this yeah. might be a good thing, you know. Just overall, just watch this film back, you know. This probably won't be the last time they see in this year season, so, you know. You could always learn from these type of games. Yep. You're going to learn more from the ones you lose than the ones you win. Yeah. 
especially this one. Um, definitely things to clean up. Um, you could probably just adapt. You could also adapt to how they play. I mean, they, they, these guys play pretty well um, and pretty aggressive, but also a lot of possession base, um, always pressure while the other team has the ball. That's what I've noticed in Lockdown now was uh, they're always, uh, they're always uh, three men around the ball. You can see they have a lot of synergy and are very confident in each other. Yeah. Seems uh seems like a well-oiled machine. It does not think does not mean things can't change. You never know. You never know. First game, first week of the season, you know, Brookdale ends up one and one at, in the season. Gets gets the one win, so we're leaving with something. Um, unfortunately, we do lose to Lakanawa, but no shame in losing to some defending champs. Forty-three seconds left here. Mm -hmm. 7-1, that does remind me of Brazil versus Germany. Unfortunately. You to bring it up. I'm so sorry for... <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I it's watched, okay, you're taking the L. I did. 8-1. It's, it's no longer Brazil-Germany. This is uh, Barcelona-Bayern Munich. I'm just referencing old soccer matches. Well, history is definitely being written. It is. Not in the good way, though, for us. But you never know. Maybe um, we'll come back. Maybe. This is our revenge arc. Yeah. This is the beginning. We shoot a four-point play, and we get four goals right back, and then we shoot a five-point play, and we just win. We're going to humble them next. Yeah. We're coming back for a vengeance. 9-1. Um, I can't think of a soccer game that went to 9-1. Uh, 8-1 was, like, was like the only one I had. Um... Oh, I actually saw that for a second. One of the players on Lackawanna is a supersonic legend. Oh. Highest rank in the game. So that's interesting. Um, probably shows why they're just so good. Um, I don't know if we have any supersonic legends in our team. Yeet oh, with a last shot. Consolation goal, yeah, baby. Woo! 9-2. Um, you know. Makes rough. it look a little nicer. Makes it a little yeah. bit nicer, goal differential-wise. You know, good thing we uh, didn't concede at all in the first series. Goal difference, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think we won last series with, like, 20 goals into zero. This helps a bit, so, you know, goal difference. Am I right? We're still leaving with something. We're still leaving with a win, you know? Got to have the good vibes, you know? One and one, not bad, you know? Right. You're still in prime position. Um, Got to look on to next week. I'm sure you're not facing back-to-back -back national champs next week, so. <laughs> so, unfortunately, Brookdale does fall. That series 3 nothing. Um, Last map was kind of a just, you know, just having fun. But, um, yeah, I mean... You have any? Uh, do you have anything to say? Buy the merch. We have merch. We have merch. We have merch. We have merch. Valentine's Day. Get yourself. Get your Valentine's a bottle, a jersey. We have free stickers, right here. See that? Sweaters, T-shirts, all sizes, perfect for yeah, your everyone. Valentine's Day, Easter. Every holiday, Flag Day. Every occasion. Every occasion. Yeah. Every single occasion. The perfect gift. Yeah. Easily. Gift cards. Buy them. Load them up with something. Your friend can uh, come in and play on the PC. But um, yep. For that uh, fellow gamer nerd. Yeah. Friend. Exactly. But uh, for right now, this is uh that'll be that'll be us. We do have uh we do have streams next week, of course, same time. So we have Smash and COD next week at six and seven. Uh six o'clock for Smash if you want to tune in for next week and seven o'clock for Call of Duty. But uh that'll be for it for us. Uh Brookdale goes one and one for the day. Not bad. But uh yeah, pretty good. Yeah. And this is a great time. Yeah. Thanks for joining me today. No problem. And thanks for tuning in everyone. Have a good one. See you guys. See you.